right? Yep. It's been 20 years since Pat Bruderer first sank her teeth into a traditional indigenous art form. And now Pat, who's also known as Half Moon Woman, is one of the few in the world who has mastered birch bark biting. It goes back probably thousands of years. It's um, one of the oldest uh, traditional art forms and in the Americas, and it was done um, to record our ceremonies, our beadwork patterns, and our stories. And it was done all the way from the east to the west coast of Canada at one time. And what this represents is all the people on our universe, the creator, the bees, and the water. And without the bees and without the water, we have no planet. It's now a declining activity, but one the Churchill-born artist of Cree descent continues to pass on. I've gone to schools, I've taught up to 3,000 kids a year in some schools and um, last year I went to Yellowknife and I taught 300 kids in Yellowknife how to do birch bark biting and they really loved it. I passed it down two generations in my family. I've taught my family, all my children, my grandchildren how to do this. Fold and you unfold it because it's very sticky. For Half Moon Woman, it doesn't take long to create a piece. The average piece takes me probably minutes. But in order to do all the stages, I go through roughly 13 stages to finish a piece. And you visualize in your mind what you're going to bite. And then you bite, you draw the design. So you have to really think about it. And it, it develops a spatial mode in your brain. And apparently it causes you to do better in math and science. That's what they've just discovered. Birch bark has played a huge role in indigenous culture. Families used to go out for probably a week at a time just to collect birch bark. Um, when you go out collecting, it's very healing for the family. Uh, birch bark was collected for all kinds of things. People were birthed onto birch bark because it's probably one of the most sanitary things out there. And also people were, when they left, they left in birch bark. They were wrapped and buried in birch bark instead of a wooden box. The biting is very healing because it takes your mind completely off everything. So all as you can deal with is thinking about the design you're creating. Her work and has I been displayed across the country and even in several people. European places. Yeah, of, uh, even after decades of biting, her teeth are no worse for wear. Of course your teeth wear down, but um, birch bark is added into toothpaste now because they've discovered that it, it, um, it stops uh, tooth decay and gum disease. Her bark has bite and it's made Half Moon Woman one of the more unique artists around the world. Every time you open your design, it's, it's totally different. Birch bark bitings are like people. They're beautiful and there's no two the same. For Shaw TV's Go, I'm Kevin Hirschfield.